Hello guys, let's talk about how we can bring our Rigify model to the Cascader in the couple of clicks. So what we need to do is to download the add-on called Game Rig Tools created by CG Dive. And you can download it for free from the page on cgdive.com Game Rig Tools Blender add-on. There are several possibilities to download. On Gumroad, it's pay what you can. When we go to the Gumroad page, we will see the option to download and the price is zero. If you can, of course, it's better to pay for this add-on to support creators. Just select here zero and zero. Press get and you will get. What we need is uh, Game Rig Tools core module. We don't need Unreal module for now. And we can download the latest version for Blender 4.3. But it works in Blender 4.4. I already checked it. Back to Blender. Go to Edit Preferences. Install from the disk. Game Rig Tool Core Blender 4.3. Press install from the disk. Yeah, and we get our add on here. It's here. What we need to do next uh, is to go to pose mode because on in object mode it's kind of crash uh, our blender. So it's better to go to pose mode, select our rig as a control rig, and what we what you need to do after that, just press generate game rig and change maybe name for cascader. And yeah. Just press OK and here we are. We have a uh, ready to animate, almost ready to animate uh, rig and cascader, but there are, uh, we, need some, we need to do some adjustment for that rig. What we have to do? Uh, yeah, first of all, uh, you need to understand that uh, in game rig tools there are other tab that allows you to mute and unmute your rig from the control rig because right now everything controlled by control rig as you see but if you press mute button all control will come to the game rig uh, if we press unmute as you see we cannot move anything it's controlled by Rigify. Again, press mute. And as you see, we need to check our error here. It's quite easy to do. We can hide our Rigify for now. Go to the uh, edit mode. And first of all, we need to, ch to select our face. Yeah. Select your face of your model if you have it. Yeah, and select also mirror tool and control P, keep offset. What we also need to do is to create a. Okay, we will talk about this later. So, for shoulders also. Control P keep offset. Control P keep offset. These bones. Control P keep offset. But for but for arms, I'm connecting them as connected because I have some issue with the. Uh, 
finger after posing in cascadeur for fingers that's why i see that it's better work when hands are connected totally uh, control p connected do not uh, you need to be careful to not connect it that twist bone that's elbow share l and the forearm the forearm this this is uh, the the bone what we need to connect control p connected and control p connected uh, now we need to connect our legs to bone called deaf spine it's our root bone not for this bone because it's connected to that this manipulate hips not the whole torso so we need to choose this second bone again go to not second bone but uh, the bone called uh, death spine Ctrl P connected and we also need to connect this pelvis to death spine Ctrl P keep offset now everything should work perfectly when we go to the pose mode yeah that's fine that's amazing and that also work what we also need to do to create leaf bone for head it will allow you uh, much easier to place the all necessary thing in cascadeur just press e z and because for some reason uh, blender do not create leaves bone for head yeah now everything prepared so next step exporting go to object mode select everything select your rig go to file export fbx armature mesh selected objects and here we need to check apply modifier oh, okay modifier armature only deformed bone yeah it will be only deformed bone but add leaf bones yeah keep it and we don't need any animation i already save it but again I will save it again, export FBX, yeah. Now we are good to go to Cascadeur. Now we are in Cascadeur, we can import our model, go to import, import FBX, die. And what is very important to select model and uncheck blend shapes, cause right now as you see the blend shape might be the cause of the long saving time it's because cascadeur not optimized it for blend shape yet so it's better to disable it if you do not planning to animate blend shape in cascadeur so disable blend shapes and click import select your model that was exported from the blender open it and yeah now press yes to enter rig mode for imported model and yes for quick rig tool the character could not be yes of course because it's rigify how else it can be so now what we need to do just select 
dot l for original and dot r dot r for mirrored and select our bones for body uh, it's better to use spine and we will see all the he error here of the spine and what is very important that the root bone is dev spine yeah uh, we need to skip this bone dev spine 001 and use dev spine 002 uh, it's explained it in the CG dev tutorial you can check it uh, link will be in the description dev spine 003 for chest dev spine 004 for neck and dev spine 005 it's the second bone for neck we don't need it and dev spine 006 it's uh, head bone and dev spine 007 it's a leaf bone that we created before uh, yes now next mm, hand and we will have all hierarchy of the hand dev hand forearm and upper arm left and shoulder uh, avoid this bones called 001 001 it's the twist bone if you go to the twist tab we can move it to the deaf arm upper arm here and forearm here now we have our body and arms now we need legs just type toe and you will get all the error here of the leg and we need deaf toe l not the deaf toe big l it's a big finger we need just main bone deaf toe l here foot here shin here and tie here twist bone Dev shin left here and dev tie left here. Uh, now fingers, thumb, dev thumb one, dev thumb o oh, two here and dev thumb o oh, three here. Next index, not for toe but index L. One, two. Three mid one two three ring one two three pinky one two three L L L L everything okay create mirror object body hand right twist everything fine just press add rig elements and I prefer do not touch everything to check my uh, fingers for after posing that's why I just press generate rig because I can adjust everything later on and yeah and most important thing to check the fingers and everything work yeah nice So yeah, we have a mo our model ready to animate in Cascader. I hope it was helpful. I will put all the necessary additional uh, tutorial from the CG Dive and Aaron Nemeth. Sorry for pronouncing maybe wrong your surname in the description and hope. It was helpful. 
See you on the next video, guys. Bye.